Welcome all of you. So in today's video, we are doing the gaming review between the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra versus the Galaxy S20 Ultra. So guys, let's get started. So guys, both are here. So we are starting from the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra from the PUBG Mobile itself. So PUBG and the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. Let's see which one performs more finer. Just checking for updates and uh, PUBG is done. It's loading. Let's close and start. Start. Pretty damn quick. So actually I will turn the resolution to the maximum and that means the graphics and to the uh, frame rate to the maximum then only I will play so that you can experience the maximum out of the phone yes guys quickly go to the graphics you can see I am set to HDR and Ultra if we set to smooth then we can get the extreme option too so first of all we can uh, go to smooth and extreme first of all okay smooth and extreme is set and now oof, guys it's stunning you can see Oh, it's just have nice FPS, I think. No sort of any sort of lags or frame drops over here. Super smooth. I think it's getting around 50 or 50, 50 to 55 around FPS or I think it's between 50 around FPS. Anyway, it's nice. Now let's go to graphics and set to HDR and Ultra. And now let's check. Yes, guys, now the FPS is not as uh, the smooth and extreme actually now his fps feels a five percent drop five fps drop in terms of that day. and let's quickly jump from over there and just see you can see that moisture and surroundings are perfectly fine so smooth as quickly landing over there So guys, you can see no sort of lags or any issues over here. Uh, working perfectly fine. And uh, I have nothing to complain in terms of the gaming. In smooth and extreme, the performance was stunning, guys. So let's leave it here and now let's check the performance of the Galaxy S20 Ultra. So PUBG in S20 Ultra. Let's see how well this one performs. Start. Matchmaking. So guys, now you can see it's in HDR and Ultra. Let's see. Guys, uh, almost same performance, but uh, if you ask me which is slightly better, actually a slight improvement for the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra, I think the frame rate is more high on the uh, S20 Ultra, sorry, Note 20 Ultra rather than the S20 Ultra. Actually, we can't feel any lag, but actually if we get at an initial impression, we think that it's not up to that mark of the frame rate. A bit low frame rate compared to the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. I think it may be due to the software optimization and to the latest one UI 2.5. So after the one UI 2.5, it will be welcome. Awesome. Now it's still on uh, the one UI 2.1. On the let's quickly jump out of here and let's see.
So guys, overall there is not a marginal upgrade worthy performance. I think it was almost the same, but in some areas we might feel that the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra have little more frame rate than that of the Galaxy S20 Ultra. But actually, some now it's feel almost the same on both. See you guys. See this atmosphere and everything looks perfectly fine. So guys actually I would say it's almost the same performance on both but actually sometimes I feel the FPS is slightly higher I think about 2 or 3 FPS about nearly 5 FPS is slightly higher at some times but at the current scenario now it's it's become perfect so let's leave it here and now let's open the call of duty and let's see how well it performs so guys in the call of duty let's start Guys, overall it feels smooth. Guys, it's working perfectly fine. No sort of any sort of issues. It's uh, stunning. I didn't felt any issues over here. You can see. Oh guys. Oh guys, fantastic. I really like I think it will be a clear win for us. Go! 
We are about to win, guys. Reloading. Oh, yeah. What is six? Reloading. Cover me. Forty nine, and that's the victory for us. Okay, so it's done. Now let's check on the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. So guys, on the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. Let's see how well this one performs. Oh, guys, nice. Guys, I felt like both are exactly the same. I didn't felt any difference in both. Forty one kills. Oh, 
yes guys perfect it's done so guys both actually really like the performance of both actually i think a pretty nice actually it's not a um, upgrading performance but actually there is a slight difference in terms of performance for the galaxy note 20 ultra maybe because of that um, uh, what we call software optimization and all but actually i felt almost the same on both but actually in terms of the high-end settings and that means ultra and uh, uh, hdr settings i think the note 20 ultra was a bit uh, great than the galaxy s20 ultra in terms of normal day-to-day -day use you can't really tell the difference both were almost exactly the same so guys that's all regarding the video thank you guys